Suppose you have 50 lights, each of that is about 50 watts. And if you want to connect all that 50 lights on single circuit, so what MCB writing you need to choose for that one? I'm an electrical engineer, please don't skip this video because you are going to get a deep knowledge about this one. And here the total watts of this circuit will be 50 lights into 50 watts, so 750 watts. So I need to calculate the current for this circuit. So I is equal to P by V cos theta, it is the single phase power equation. And here the voltage is 220 voltage and the power is 750 and cos theta is 0 0.8. Because you know in this modern world most of our bulb is LED so it will have a power factor of 0.8 up to 0.9 okay. So I just take here as 0.8. So if you put all these things on this equation the answer will be around 4 ampere. You know for always to choose an MCB we need to set a safety margin of 25 percentage. That means a total of 125 percentage safety margin. So 4 ampere into 125 percentage means 1.25. So the answer will be around 5 ampere. So we need to select an MCB of 5 ampere. But in the market, the 5 ampere MCB will not be available. So you need to choose the next higher size. So from the market, you need to choose the 6 ampere rating. But before purchasing this 6 ampere MCB, you need to understand the standard that exists on your country. Maybe on your country, for a single light circuit, the government authority allows only a 10 ampere, maybe. Okay, in some countries, it's like that. So in such case, what you need to do is just purchase an MCB of 10 ampere and connect on your circuit. Suppose it is our case, your calculation is 6 ampere and your country standard is 10 ampere. And for the approval, if you put the 6 ampere MCB on your document, the government will not give the approval for you. Suppose your calculated current is 6 ampere, okay? And if you choose a 6 ampere MCB for this one, then what will happen is you are not giving any safety margin. So if you put that MCB on the circuit, then after 15 or 30 minutes, your MCB will trip. That means you always need at least a 125% safety margin for your light circuit. You know, always the MCB comes with these curves. B, C, D, Z, K. So which curve you will choose for your light circuit? I recommend only to use this B curve. You know, the B curve allows 3 to 5 times of the rated current. You know, our LED bulbs are inductive in nature. See, here I just take the power factor as 0.8. Okay, which means on the starting time of your circuit, there may be some inrush current. On that inrush current, we don't want our MCB trips. You know, this inrush current may be 1.2 or 1.5 times, just like that. But here for the B curve, it is 3 to 5 times. It will allow 3 to 5 times of the inrush current. So, uh, this B curve is enough for our light circuit. Don't purchase the C curve because this C curve allow 5 to 10 times. We actually does not require this much capacity. We only require this one. So, don't waste your money by purchasing this C curve. Suppose you have light circuits with this mercury lamp. LED sodium vapor lamp with 500 watts or 1000 watts just like that then you need to choose the C curves because it may have high inrush current on the starting of the circuit for the light circuits in our home we just need this B curve it's enough I hope you understood this video if so please like this and give me your valuable comments if you wanna get more videos with lot of information please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon thanks for watching